the people here are really nice, which is a plus. If you guys don't know, Iowa is known for its niceness. So if you're walking on the street, you see someone, they're usually smiling or like saying hi to you, which is amazing, a really good thing. Even if they're like, they don't actually wanna know like how good was your day, they'll ask you, oh, how's your day? Or like, it's not like that at, in New York or like any of the big cities, cause it's so busy and people don't have a lot of time to just like sit and talk or like to, you know, have a conversation because they've got like schedules, you know, it's a, it's a busy city. By the way, the dorms are really, it's cool. There's so many dorms you could choose from. There are the towers, which I'm in. The towers are like these, these two huge like buildings and they're probably the two tallest buildings in the whole, like in the whole Cedar Falls area. And you get this like amazing view of like the campus, I think. From my window, from my window, I can see the um, clock tower, which is amazing. A beautiful view. Something to wake up to in the morning. One second, let me bring my phone. Fact day. Let's pull up stuff about the University of Northern Iowa. Using my friend Google, because what can you do without Google? Let's talk about history. The reason they found the school was, there were two main reasons. The first reason was, is that they wanted to house the orphans of the veterans for the, the first civil war. And the second was that they needed a place of like education. So in 1876, the school was named the Iowa State Normal School. And the school's first building was opened in 1869. It was known as Central Hall. Central Hall included living areas for the students and a lot of classrooms. But then in 1965, a fire broke out and it destroyed Central Hall. Now then the Cedar Falls community and its citizens, they donated $5,000, which was huge sum of money back then to build Gilchrist Hall. First name was Iowa State Normal School. And then from 1967 up to the present, it was named the University of Northern Iowa. We know a bit about the University of Northern Iowa. Let's talk about cool stuff like activities. You do have a lot of activities to do. There's, you could go to all the sports events for free, which is a huge deal. We could go to like these sport events, the football events, soccer, volleyball, all these sorts of events are free for students. Then we have the musical events and the theater. So for that, you get two tickets that are free during the whole semester and you get to bring one person with you to the event just remember to use that wisely you've only got two and then you've got to pay for the tickets all right so activities like that and then you've got homecoming which just finished like a week ago was it a week ago two weeks ago don't quote me on that but it was fun it was a blast you would what happened is that there was this parade a lot of cool stuff I'll probably link information in the description below so you guys can check it out if you want to. Right, so I hope you guys had fun. It was kind of informational. It gave you a bit of background about the university activities here, all that good stuff. If you guys liked the video, please hit the like button. Make sure to subscribe if you guys haven't. Let me know in the description below if you guys want a Q&A session, whatever you guys want in the description below.